Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, 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 nearly done, Mr. H. Well, hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. 
cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, you know, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter these terrified kids that they sent home. Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Yeah, it was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He's sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, 
put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Mm. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Uh-huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Cause it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like, kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm... Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? He, uh said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. No, no. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. 
Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. I'm sorry. You made me promise. Dude, he won't even know. I don't know. There, no, no, dude, we get it, all right? You don't want to disappoint daddy. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just—I don't know—figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us.
Will humanity prevail, or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. There we go. And Viola. Uh, Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, uh, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep. Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. <sighs> wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Hmm. <laughs> Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh, oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh, jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Harem Scarum? this crap.
<laughs> Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay. Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh my. <laughs> All right, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? <sighs> Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. <sighs> well... Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I... oh, because... You want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I... I... What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. This goes locked. <laughs> Jacob, come check this out. Oh, uh, <laughs> all righty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother load. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder I kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. Okay. I'm done. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, 
fun secrets that, should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um... There's tents back at the fire pit, so just... Let's, let's go. Did a bear do this? So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should... No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. I feel like fireworks are crossing a line. What? But you got a gun. Why can't I have firecrackers? Because the gun is for bear protection, and the fireworks could start a forest fire. <sighs> Stupid forest fires. <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Uh, <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter, fucking butter pops. Aren't those for kids? What? Yeah, yeah, and I used to be a kid. <laughs> used to be? Okay, um, look, just try one of these puppies. I promise you, you will change your tone. Not a chance. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. <laughs> Come on, they're like the greatest snack of all time. All right, whatever. You know what? More for me. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay, uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels, you can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Thank you. Which way? Inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. Dude, we're gonna have to wait. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School, or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? <laughs> Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones... Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah. Okay. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if, okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah. Not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is, if we need it. Your call, man. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Oh, uh, okay. Or it's for storage. 
Go ahead, open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, dang. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> ring a ding a ding Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine, don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. Nothing but net. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. Fashion icon. <laughs> Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? 
Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's gotta be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Nice. Full up. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. It'd be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? 
Why don't you choose? Let's go this way. Are you okay? I'll be okay. <laughs> Come on, I'll spot you. So, um, I heard this joke about artists. It's pretty bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want to hear it? Sure. Okay. Here it is. Why couldn't the world's fastest painter ever keep a girlfriend? Hmm, why not? Because he always finished in one stroke. It's dumb. Sorry, Jacob told me about it. About golfers because of the stroke thing? Yeah, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Jacob probably heard it from his campers. That makes so much sense. Those kids have filthy minds. <laughs> Whoa. Just a bird. Just a bird. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I've just been on a little, just been a little edgy lately. <laughs> Hey, don't worry about it. It's just the forest playing tricks on you. I used to go camping all the time with my dad and you think you hear and see some pretty weird stuff, but you just realize it's nature doing its thing. Did you just say thing? No, that's the forest up to its old tricks again. <laughs> I've never been camping. It's pretty nice if you open yourself up to it. So you have to be open-minded to enjoy camping? No, I just mean there's a lot of stuff you have to overlook. Like basic comfort. You really just have to try it. I could take you some time. If you want. Uh, um, maybe. Let's just make it through tonight first. Yeah. I think we're back near the path again. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Do me. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to get this down. Right. Sorry. Dumb idea. I just want to finish this. Take your time. Did you hear that? Huh? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> My god, he's so...
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger is past, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry causing serious consequences. Mommy, you're dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. Guess we should head back. 